If you're coming out west to do public land hunts, you need to think about, am I a resident or am I a non-resident? And the reason being is most non-residents to hunt out west on these public lands, you're on what we call a lottery type system. There's usually a restriction on what percentage of the available permits are available to non-residents. So if you're a traveling hunter coming out west to hunt public lands, make sure you understand that and that you've thought it through before you come out here. So if you're coming out west and you want to do a public land hunt, there's really two categories of tags that we can all try and use to our advantage when we're coming out for these hunts. One is what we call over-the-counter or general tags. In other words, there's no drawing for them, no advanced lottery, anything like that. And then the other is limited entry tags. And the limited entry tags usually restrict non-residents to some percentage. And they also are the high demand tags, usually having a lottery deadline anywhere from two to five months in advance of when your hunt is happening. So make sure you know the difference. Am I going to a, a general or over the counter unit or do I want to hunt public land on one of these limited entry units? When you're coming out west and you're going to hunt public lands, there's two other types of tags that have a lot of controversy. One is landowner vouchers or landowner tags where private landowners are awarded tags for tolerating wildlife on their lands. And the other is governor's tags. And governor's tags are auction type tags, usually very, very limited in their number, usually one or two per species. And if you buy that tag, you get to hunt long seasons and pretty much any area within that state for that species. So two other options if you're thinking about coming and doing a public land hunt.